Master, in a previous flying news, Master talked about one of her dogs and how he told Master that he was Master's husband in a previous life. Could Master tell us more about him? Uh. Is he coming life after life to help with Master's mission? Uh. Not life after life, but often. Oh. Whenever he can. And honey, sweetheart, sugar pie, we have too much work right now. Me, yeah? Yes. And the world is in big, big sorrow and trouble. I have really no mood, no inspiration to talk about my private and public life <laughs> and too many to talk about if I have to talk about all of my relationship in a former life yeah mm. then uh, I think I will have to stay in the world forever <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> to talk about all that and then there will be new one all the time yeah okay huh I say some small things and that's enough already okay huh Mm? Okay, yes, mm. Master. Uh, sorry, okay. Huh? I really not in the mood to tell some fairy tales or former mm. relationship and stuff. Hmm? Yes, Master. Maybe in some other time, who knows? Yes, my love? Oh, yes, I understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Uh, there are reports saying that the Biden administration gave away the names of Americans in, and U.S. allies to the Taliban. Master, should they still cooperate with the Taliban after the deadly attacks that happened recently? Yeah, my God. This is a taboo. Oh. Um, you just signed a peace deal and you don't even know how the Taliban is going to react yet mm. or govern themselves yet. It's a taboo to give your own people a name list away, give it away to, to the so-called enemy, yeah? I mean, a former enemy. It yes. takes some time to work with them to know if they're sincere and peace-loving Yes, yeah, between the United States and the Taliban and also between the Taliban and their own people. We don't know. The Americans don't know yet. So to give away a list like that is endangering the lives of uh, American servicemen there and also their families and relatives and friends, connections, you know? It's so easy to find them. Yeah. Yeah, and then, then it could become a blacklist for murdering, killing, or assassinating. Mm, yes, master. Or, or the taking into prison, whatever they would do. It's so easy. Mm, right. And then now there was an attack on them like that. Yes. I'm not sure how they're going to deal with this. Under Biden, anything could happen. Any illogical thing, dangerous thing could happen. Not to him. Mm -hmm. to his people, to the Americans who expose their lives in dangerous situations to help others. Some of the Marines and soldiers there, they died rescuing women and children and Afghans from the dangerous zone. Yes. They're pulling them out. That's why they died. They keep coming to pull them out. That's why they died with them. Right. Oh. Or died with babies also because they were taking care of babies until the last minute. Yeah, mm. some of them were like that. That's what I saw on the news. And yes. that's what I knew also from inside. Oh. That's why I said they go to heaven. Different heavens accordingly, but heavens. Yes. God have mercy to whomever gives mercy to others. They were really unconditional. They were really brave, courageous, and kind and loving to the extent that like sainthood. Yeah, it's true. Yes, they were young and full of hope, and they have a long life in front of them, the whole future. Some have a uh, wife and kids at home. There's one shoulder expecting his first baby ever, mm. and he was looking forward to coming home. Yes. As well as the wife. Mm. And now no more. They won't ever see him anymore. It's too sad. You cannot give the list of your servicemen to others whom you don't know you can trust or not yet because you have to test people before you can trust. Yes. Maybe we can trust the Taliban, but maybe not. 
Mm. We don't know because for all the news I saw, they go looking for women, knocking from door to door of the woman, and the woman didn't open. And when she opened, they killed her. And they went beating women up and hanging journalists or relatives of journalists and looking for uh, newsmen to kill or to harass or to murder or to execute and do execute also according to the news oh. and photos and all that. Yes. So I don't know if the Taliban will ever make themselves trustworthy within the international community yet. I see. I don't know if they would ever change. Mm. Maybe they want to change, but their underlings are not trained. Right. They even admit it. They tell women to stay in the home, inside, because their soldiers are not trained to respect women and not trained not to harass the woman. Right. Harass meaning anything. Rape, pillaging, and snatching little girls away from family and all that. Mm. They did that before. And they still did, in some cases. So how can anyone in the international community trust them? Yes. They have to educate their own people first before they preach to the international community that have to follow God, teaching or Allah, teaching whatever. Yes. The way they're doing things, nobody dares to join the Muslim community because normal people, they like to live a normal, simple, peaceful life. They don't want all this bloodshed. They don't want all this terroristic deeds and actions and barbarous kind of handling of women and men and... Yes, Master. Yeah. True. Like in America, they have two parties. They oppose each other. Yeah. Fine. But they don't go around and, and killing each other, murdering each other. Yes. So this is the difference between the West Americans and the Taliban, if they don't change. Right, yeah. That's why. That's why people are angry and shocked because the names of their relatives, friends, and themselves are supposed to be confidential. It's given to the Taliban. For any excuse, I don't know what they do. Mm. Yes, Master. They have an excuse to do that. But still, Biden is doing any kind of thing like that. Mm. And they trust Biden to protect the airport with some simply equipped American soldiers there. Yes. Yeah, just like that. Just trust them. And that's how it happened. Trust them, okay? Yes. And then they get bombed and killed like that. And then that's what Biden did. And the same, I read it in the news somewhere that he gave the names of all the important posts of American sensitive working offices or the places and the names that the Russians should not cyber attack. Oh. My God. Give them, give Russians the list like that also. And now he gave the list of the Americans and Afghan allies' names. Yeah. Make it so easy. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe the Taliban don't want to kill him. Mm. But maybe they leaked out the information to another yeah. so called terrorist organization. That's how the bomb happened. All oh, right. Yes, Master. And it might not be the single incident. I hope it is. I hope it is done with now. Yeah. Because with the revenging and revenging back and forth, back and forth, peace never comes. Peace cannot come. If people keep revenging each other like that, even killing their own countrymen, their own compatriots. Yes. For no reason. Whatever reason is not correct. It's not according to God's mercy and not according to any human behavior. We are humans. We have to be good to each other and helping each other, not murdering each other anytime, anywhere, at random like that. Even children, elderly and women. Yes. The helpless, the vulnerable. They are in a vulnerable situation at the airport. Yes, they are. That is not noble. That's not gentlemanly. It's the low life. Yes. The way you just attack people and kill them at random when they are vulnerable, when they have no means to defend. That's low life. Yes, Master. Low level. And that's very ugly. Mm. This kind of action is ugly. It's devil. And it's barbarous. And it's utterly despicable. True. <laughs> because some of the Taliban may be in touch with other similar groups. And they could give the list to them. Yeah. If the Taliban don't kill them, the other group might, you know? Yeah, I understand. There are other groups as well. Similar groups like Al-Qaeda or ISIS-K or whatever. 
and others. Yes, master. So they might leak out the name, and they might harm their lives. Yeah, yeah. I see. Like 20 years, they've been together. They still are, no? Yes. I understand now. <laughs> you see, now, America made it happen so that there's war between them and the ISIS. Right. And between the ISIS and the Taliban as well. Yes. And between America and the Taliban also. Because the Taliban is now condemning the drone strike from America. The Americans were conducting the drone strike to revenge the Kabul airport uh, bombing. Yes. And then now the, the Taliban also mm. died in that uh, attack. And before that, they say they vowed to, to track down and revenge the ISIS K for yes. this. Yes, yes. And then the Americans did the same. Oh, they also yes. vowed to, to revenge the evil, yeah? Both of them say the same. Yes. But the Americans did do some strikes with drones. Mm. Not on the ground, but with drones. You know, the drone stuff, they can send empty, small uh, little device with bombs in it. Yes, understand. And can kill people from afar without having troops on the ground, yeah? Yeah. This can do only on a small, small scale, yeah? Right, yeah. And then, because of that, both of them vowed to do the same thing, but now the Americans did it and the Taliban condemned them. Yes, I see. <laughs> this is so funny. It's truly funny. So now at least three groups become enemies now. The ISIS and the Taliban become Americans' enemies. It's worse than before. Yeah. Before that, the Taliban was the enemy of the ISIS and vowed to to find them and punish them. Mm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. This is all because of Biden also. Because he delayed the evacuation. He should have evacuated everybody before his forces draw out completely. True. At least they have protection. You see, they have strong power. Deal with the position of strength. But the way he did it is dealing with the position of weakness. Right. I know people would do that. No stupid people would do that. Not to talk about president. Yes, master. Not even the most stupid soldier or general would do that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I told you. It's the, the zealous demons that influence him. So that more people will die. More vengeance and more people die. More people die. More vengeance. More vengeance. More people die. You got that? Yes, master. So that they can feast themselves. <sighs> Whenever they want to eat, they leave the human's body, go out, eat, and come back in the human's body. Whenever Biden wants to make some important decision, they will come in. Oh, that's terrible. Or make some important speech, they come in and pilot them to say what to do what. Oh. See that? Yes. That's why it's all against logic and reason. It is. Thank you.